What we're doing today is testing the effect that tyre pressures have on uh, the rolling resistance of uh, the wheel. And uh, what we've done, what we're doing is a run out test down this gentle slope and we're seeing how far we get by the time we drop back down to 10 kilometers an hour. Um, conventional wisdom is the harder your tires are, the less rolling resistance you have. Um, but at the same time, as you pump the tires up harder, there's less rubber in contact with the ground, so harder, so the ground pressure is higher, which increases friction. Um, so there's got to be a point where there's probably a sweet spot or a range where there's an ideal tire pressure. Uh, when they're too low, then you eventually you will get too too much grip. Because imagine a flat tire, it would uh, it would hardly roll at all. Uh, so what we what we want to do is find out where the optimum uh, tire pressure is, or is it a is it a range of tire pressures? I don't know. But let's see. So what we're doing is starting on this line here and just rolling down the hill. So what did we find out from this testing? Well, the furthest we went here was on 80 psi. Uh, this was, nine, uh, was uh, 100 psi, so a little bit less. This was, surprisingly, this was 60 psi. So there's um, a bit more wrong with this, it's not huge. The problem is at 60 psi, you risk damaging your rims if you go over a pothole, and you risk state bike punctures. And then this, surprisingly, if I pumped up to 110 psi, although the max, rec the max recommended, so this is 110 psi, the max recommended tyre pressure is 104 for those tyres, so maybe that's an indication that they were overinflated. And then right the way down there, I'll show there's a difference, where you can see that furthest lamppost and the bushes, that was at 30 psi, so that definitely is too low. So there is a, an effect, uh, and it seems that Within the range of um, 90, 80, probably the ideal pressure is somewhere in the 90, 80 to 90 psi range. So not that, not that hard. And certainly, you don't want to be pumping up to 110, especially when your tyres max rating is 104, seven bars. I wanted to come back and redo the roll down test for 70, 80, and 90 pounds per square inch. And this is what we got: 70 here. So it's, it's a different day, so we've rolled a bit further today, it's very muggy air and it seems uh, to be a bit uh, bit less uh, air resistance. That was 70, and you can see the distance, I mean it's not huge, but about 10, 8 metres further, that's 80 pounds, and quite a lot further at 90. So with these uh, particular tyres, which are Hutchinson Fusion 3s, their recommended pressure is between 90 and 105 pounds per square inch and they seem to roll best at about 90 in the 90 to 100 pounds per square inch range exactly what they recommend on the tire wall um, that's on a reasonably smooth road you might there's not a huge difference between 90 and 80 so if you're finding 90s a bit uncomfortable and you're on rough roads you can drop down a few pounds but I wouldn't go below 80 on these particular tires if you want to know how your tires roll you'll have to repeat the same test yourself but my guess would be uh, for 25 millimetre tyres are in a similar kind of range. So I've plotted the results on a graph. The vertical axis is the distance covered, so we're covering just a bit short of 500 metres. And the horizontal axis is, axis is the tyre pressure in pounds per square inch. So between about 70 and 100 pounds per square inch, there isn't a huge difference. Uh, if you're on uh, rough roads, um, you may want to drop your tyre pressures a bit and you won't suffer a huge uh, increase in rolling resistance. But to put that in context, between 90 and 80 pounds per square inch, there's about a, a 5-6 metre difference in the amount you roll um, over that uh, for that amount of given input energy. And if you translate that to a 10 mile tra time trial, you're talking about 150 metres difference, which you may see is significant. So high tyre pressures up to a point are beneficial. Um, beyond a certain point uh, there's a drop off in uh, or there's a seems to be increased rolling resistance and there's suggestions this is due to uh, the actual roughness of a road. So on a perfectly smooth road surface increasing tyre pressure is a good thing but where the road's rough 
um, you you actually get other factors come into play. The other thing to bear in mind is these uh, tests were done at about 15 kilometers an hour and uh, at high speed, say racing time trialing, you're at more than a 30, 40 kilometer an hour range, so wind becomes a much more important factor, uh, rolling resistance less important. So it's worth a few seconds over, over a 10k uh, time trial, um, but uh, you know, if you're just recreational riding, you might choose comfort. The big thing to remember though, low tie pressures, you risk rim damage, especially if you hit objects like stones or potholes. Um, and uh, you also risk snake bite type punctures where the tube, inner tube is compressed between the rim and the tire. Uh, 